Evolution of Money From Barter to Digital Money Have you ever wondered how money came into existence? Centuries ago, there was no money. So how did people buy and sell? It all started with the barter system. Imagine a prosperous kingdom. In this kingdom, there were people doing different types of work like weavers, cobblers, farmers, tailors, etc. This is Kisna, a farmer. This is Manoj, a cobbler. When Manoj needs vegetables, he goes to Kisna and exchanges a pair of slippers for the vegetables he needs. Both are happy. This is known as barter system. The system by which one person could exchange goods and services produced by him with goods and services produced by another. This is called a barter system. Barter system works on double coincidence principle. Two coincidences have to happen. One is that you should find someone who's willing to sell what you want. And second is that the seller wants something that you're willing to sell. But does barter system always work? The direct exchange of one commodity for another requires direct satisfaction of both parties. Now, Manoj needs more vegetables and goes to Kisna, but Kisna doesn't need more footwear. Hence, no barter takes place. Now, Manoj needs a haircut and goes to Shambhu the barber. But the value of the haircut is much lesser than the value of a pair of slippers. And the slipper cannot be divided, and hence, no barter takes place. Manoj needs milk, but the quantity of milk to be received in exchange for a pair of slippers is very high. And with milk being perishable, Manoj doesn't want to take too much of it. Hence, barter does not take place. Thus, the exchange of goods was not easy. Imagine the confusion. That's why the barter system gradually ended. But what was the alternative? Around the same time, metals were discovered and took over the ancient world. In the 6th century BC, the first coins resembling the current ones appeared. They were small metal pieces with fixed weight and value and bearing an official seal, which is the mark of the government who has minted them and also a guarantee of their value. The first metals used were gold and silver. In the Mauryan period, gold, silver and copper coins were being used. King Shesha Suri issued a silver coin which was termed as rupia. The Hindi word rupia is derived from the Sanskrit word rupia, which means a coin of silver. The silver coin remained in use during the Mughal period, the Maratha era as well as in British India. After independence of India in 1947 and the accession of the princely states to the new union, the Indian rupee replaced all the currencies of previously autonomous states. After its formation, the Reserve Bank of India issued notes and coins on behalf of the Government of India. India has progressed a lot and now has many digital payment options like credit cards, wallets, online transfer facility, thus moving from a cash to a cashless society.